how you guys okay so you remember the guy i told you about al with the claw machines i'm at his house and he's showing me his collection of pins al yeah these are not come here these are not all they're all they're different all pins rock. all, all this rock one rock. is all hard rock check out this collection he has you guys all, they're all on ebay for sale and these are all on ebay for, for sale i'm gonna link his ebay store down below in the comments I have a store. and huh don't even have a store what do you mean you don't have I'm a just store on ebay i didn't do an ebay store what do you mean you don't if you if you're on ebay then you have an ebay store okay if you say so i don't know computers like you okay and what's over here all hard rock all also? hard rock hard rock behind the door hard rock over here on the no. left to your right what do you what do you sell these for average anywhere between five and uh some of them are 60 70 bucks but the average pen is 20 bucks 20 bucks you and guys. they're all from different locations different cities different times they all have dates on them they all have and most of them are limited to one of 300. so what's the deal with these like did you uh i had a motorhome i traveled the country for ninety-five thousand miles you did and every city i went to i'd stop at a hard rock and i'd say where are the good restaurants to eat and they'd say here and i'd say you're lying because hard rock food sucks <laughs> <laughs> so uh they would tell me what was going on in their city the places to see the things to do that kind of thing and and it just it, it was a, a lead to get into the city to find you know good people and good things to do yeah so i i would bring a bag with me and i would trade pens i'd bring a couple hundred with me at all times and i would trade my fort lauderdale and my hollywood pens and miami and key west pens in orlando which are local to me for their pens from their cities that is so cool that is such a cool story. Now, what yeah. about this? This is all hard rock, too? All hard rock also, yeah. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Check yeah. this out. Got a few extras, uh, doubles on some, because I was able to get them cheap. So, But the cities are ago? all listed on them. I collected from the probably the mid-'80s until probably just last year. So did you have kids? Yes, I have two. And how did you travel around in a motorhome with kids? easy they had a blast they you every went summer with every weekend oh hell yeah i brought their friends and and we just uh went from rv park to rv park playing pool riding bikes uh and you homeschooled fishing. them no anytime we could get away we would any three-day weekend uh, out to Orlando. look at this you guys look at how many he has it's crazy it just goes on and on and on and I've probably, I've sold over 300 pens already. You have? How yeah. could, you're done with them? You want to sell them? Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm at that age in life where it's time to... Uh, start letting go? Start letting go. Start putting the money in the pocket. Because I'm going to Alaska. You are? Where are you going yes. to in Alaska? Uh, May 8th of next year, I am going on a two-week cruise and train ride to Denali. And then we are going to Seattle and Vancouver for three weeks. Wait, where are you going to go visit? Van well, first we go to Seattle, from Seattle to Vancouver, from Vancouver up into... Can I put on you on camera? Are you okay with that? Yeah, no, All right, so tell hey me... Guys. Hi. So I'm going me. to Alaska. He's going My to bucket Alaska. list. Okay. You know what they say about bucket tell list? Me, can you tell me where you're going to in Alaska? Uh, North. We're okay. starting south and going north. Okay, but you just said something. Denali what? is one of the places we're going You're to. You're going to the Denali National Park. Yeah, exactly. We get on the train and we take Mount the train Mount McKinley. Up. Yeah, exactly. The highest peak, peak in, in North States. America. Yeah. Yeah, it's the highest. And it means the great one in okay. American Indian. Okay. Do well, you know why I know that? I couldn't imagine. Because you're with a great one? <laughs> I told you I had a son that died. Yeah. Is that where you buried him or left him? No. Guess what his name was? Uh, Denali? Mount McKinley? Uh, let's see. Denali. Uh, Denali. Cool. cool. His name is Denali. Yeah. Is that a Denali truck out there? I have a Denali truck okay. out there. Okay. Gotcha. Can I'll I, always drive a can Denali I, can truck. Can I bring you back something from Denali? I would love for you I to would, bring me back something It would be my sincere pleasure. It would, it would tame these goosebumps you. For just you just gave me goosebumps, too. Cool. cool. I'm on my way, girl. I'll definitely. Can you believe it? I'll bring you back some. That's why I said to you. What did you just say? Indian style, uh, meaningful thing that's meaningful to me I had not no touristy bullshit just something that inspires me when I see it right. in Denali yeah of course so I um I had no idea about the Denali National Park when oh, cool. uh, I was pregnant with Denali um, friends of ours had come over with the Denali truck 20 okay. years ago GMC came out with their very first Denali truck and they bought a brand new truck it was friends of my husband's and they came over to our house to show us their brand new truck that they sure. had just driven off the a lot. Yeah, the dealership yeah and it was they pulled up and i was like holy crap like this thing is 
beautiful. Like, I, what is this name, Denali? I've yeah. never heard of the Denali. So I went in the house because I wasn't sure what I was going to name this unborn child that I was carrying. I was like well, nine that months pregnant. That answers that question because a lot of people name their child after where they consummate their their child. Well, I, we never went there. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I, thought, the maybe you were, the yeah, I thought maybe you were making Whoopi in the back of the truck. No, we And didn't. that's why you called him the valley. No, sure? no, I'm positive. You're lying to me. No, I okay. wouldn't lie to you. Okay. So I went in the house and I Googled Denali, the name, and it came up. American Indian name for the Great One. I was okay, like, cool. Holy there you shit. Go. Like there you the go. Great One? Perfect. He's Good. like, all right. So if it's a girl, I mean, if it's, sorry, if it's a boy, it's going to be Denali. Denali. Yeah. And, nice. um, Great story. And so man. he was born, and, and the nurse said I, it was going to be Isabella if it was a girl. I didn't know okay. what I was having. And Denali if it was a boy. Cool. And the nurse in the delivery said, What names have you picked out? And I said, Denali and Isabella. Denali if it's a boy, Isabella if it's a girl. <laughs> and so as soon as the baby was born, as soon before the doctor could even say it's a boy or a girl, the nurse yells out, it's a Denali. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. What a great story. All right, Al, tell me, tell every, tell my friends about these here. That is a production cell. That is one of one. That is actually, that was a scene from the uh, Little Mermaid part one movie where King Triton is speaking with his daughter. And what's the value of that? Close to $25,000. $25,000, you guys, yeah. for that picture. Is that yeah. so cool? It was the very last movie that was made by drawings. Everything from The Little Mermaid 1 on was yeah. done by computer generated. So this is all hand drawn yeah. and hand colored. From the movie. From the movie. Yeah. And what about this one? Oh, those are all just uh, lithographs and seriographs and so forth. There's a few this one's a lithograph? There. Yeah. All right. Two, three hundred bucks. Pretty no amazing, right, yeah. you guys? But this one is. Let's go show him that other thing that you showed me, you guys. Oh, his okay. house is so cool. That's a old house. All right, no, but it's so beautiful. Are, you keep it kids. so beautiful. Look at all. Look at all the pictures of his kids, oh, you guys. My daughter and son. Awesome. Stepson also. Here's my. I love you. of ten years. This is. And this is you. You've lost yeah. a lot of weight. Yeah. This is your wife. Yeah, She's beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful wife. This was a recent wedding in Orlando at the Eye. I proposed to her in uh, London at the London Eye, on the Eye. Aww. So we got married on the Orlando Eye. Aw, how cute yeah. is that? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, and here's some more pins. Oh, yeah. These are all up for sale, too. Oh, my gosh. You've got so many. Yeah, How big was your coach? Did you? I was had it? a 34 foot uh, Fleetwood Storm. Uh, did and, it kill uh, you to sell it? No, because I stopped using it. Okay. Once you stop using it, why have it? All right, this is pretty amazing right here, you guys. Look at this. All of the characters that we grew up with. 60s TV, it's called. 60s TV. Check this out. 3D from Fizzino. He does I have, a lot of great work. He does a lot of great work. But this was, by my opinion, one of his best. I love Lucy. Yeah, because it's all stuff we Star grew up Trek, with. Star Lost in Space, Howdy Doody. Batman, uh, Robin, Bewitched is on there. Good old uh, Jackie Gleason. How sweet it is. Oh my gosh. My Sorry about the reflection, you guys. I'm trying my best to do it. I love Gilligan. <laughs> He's awesome. You would love a nerd. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> The Adams Family. For me, it was either Mary Ann or uh, Ginger. You know, you can have Gilligan. I right? <laughs> the Beverly Hillbillies. I Dream of Jeannie. Yeah, I've never got to see her belly button. Oh, my God. That's awesome. This yeah. is amazing. So cool. Oh, my gosh. The Twilight Zone. I used to watch that. Oh, I used to watch that all the time. Yeah, Look at there's Lassie, you guys, up there. And there's, uh, here, let me zoom in. Bewitched up top in the yeah, the there's the Flintstones. Star Trek. I still watch the Flintstones. Bewitched, you do? I when I need laughter, where's, I watch the Flintstones. Where's the Jetsons? I don't know. Are they on there? I don't they should know. because they come on right after the Flintstones. <laughs> I can right? tell you that. Where's the Jetsons? I don't see the Jetsons. I'm surprised. They I might know. not have license agreements. Wow, I'm surprised they yeah. don't have the Jetsons on there. Yeah, yeah. this is pretty amazing. Rocky and Natasha. 
Yeah. Is that the fun coolest? stuff? Just yeah. fun stuff. Really, really fun stuff. Ricky That's so awesome. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you his Murano glass collection now. Look at this. Look at his Murano glass. How beautiful. I just, you know what, Al, you, I just want to say thank you for like welcoming me into your home. I feel like I've known you forever. That's because we're. From the same pot of uh, beans, I know. so to say. We're, right. Yeah. Cut from the same cloth. Exactly. Cut from the same cloth. Look at how beautiful. These are all Murano glass, you guys. How beautiful. He keeps everything so beautiful in this house. And um, he's got all of these. How many lighthouses you have? Um, I have no idea, but my wife and I have toured over 100. Oh, my gosh. We'll over 100. The majority of them. And then I want to show them your wind chimes, too. Right. Your wind chimes are amazing. Oh my gosh, they love them. There's a lot of more lighthouses in there. More in here. Yeah. All different ones. Crystal. Crystal ones. Beautiful mermaids. You guys love to collect. Yeah. And now it's time to downsize. I love that. Yeah. No, Why? Why downsize? If it makes you happy, who cares? Oh, this stuff does, but like the pens, Oh, look at the plates. I'm not happy with the pens. I don't see them that often. I don't get to enjoy them per se, whereas on this stuff I do. Did you? And you can see my character is evolved in all these cartoon and, you know, fun plates, so to say. All Disney. No. Well, no. But there's Bugs the Bunny, there's Flintstones. Yeah, all the, all the shows <laughs> that we grew up on. All the shows we grew up on. The Three Stooges. My motor home was at Epcot, I would say, one year. We figured out that we vacationed more than half the year. Oh my We're gosh. That thing for over half the year. Did you ever go to um, uh, Fort Wilderness? Please. I know Fort See that? That's Fort Wilderness right there. Right? In the back of my hand. That was the last vacation that we took with Denali, was Fort Wilderness. He loved it there. Yes. Uh, you could comfortably go there and let loved the kids go play and not worry oh about it. Oh my them. gosh. He so loved fantastic. it. We rented a cabin. Here, let's go look at your wind chimes. We rented a cabin and. Um, Got a golf cart, and oh, look at this, you guys. He's got like paradise. So this is this is how we met because he does plush like I do. He buys it by the pallet also, and um, yeah. So look at this, and this is what he does full time. And oh my gosh, who's the plant lover? My wife got into that once uh, COVID hit. Can you she guys see all the wind chimes? Oh, are these the um? Are these the, uh, the uh, what do you call them, um, stained glass that you said you had yeah. hanging in the house? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the other three pieces are behind the couch right now. They're beautiful. Oh, this one fell. Yeah, but it has, it's got such significance to me, I put it back up. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love this one, too. You see the beauty in it, even if it's broken. That's beautiful. Do you yeah. buy these, like, when you go to festivals and of stuff? Course. Yeah, I'll have to show you the ones out on the front patio. Wind chimes, the uh, wind chimes, not wind chimes, but the necklaces that they, that they uh, give you in all the uh, festivals. Yeah. Like the sweet corn and. Uh, oh, I love the cardinal. Dust. The cardinal's awesome. I just sold one. Huh? I just sold one. You just sold him? No, I got uh, the uh, beanie baby one. Oh yeah. Oh, you yeah. just sold the beanie baby cardinal? Yeah. On eBay? Yeah. Oh, awesome. What'd you get for it? Twenty-five bucks. Twenty-five. Oh, five dollars. Oh, five dollars. Yeah, okay. Ooh, but look at this one is beautiful too. Get them for free, so why not? Right. Practically. Yeah, exactly. Just a lot of labor intensive. Practically. Oh, that's so cool too. Ooh, this one's beautiful also. Oh yeah, when it spins and the sun hits it just right. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That's a lot of art shows that we go to. You know, that's where you find this stuff. And the frog. This is his personal collection, you guys. He's not selling these. This is all his personal collection. More lighthouses. Beautiful. Yeah, that's Very nice. All right, he has one more collection to show us on the way out. What are these? Those are the necklaces I was telling you about that you get from all the uh, events you go to. Most of those are like from the Sunfests, 
92, uh, all older necklaces from and the you, sweet corn festivals. Uh, and have fair. you been to all these festivals? Oh, of, course. of course. And you just collect them? Yeah, they look good out here. Oh my gosh, some of them are so pretty. I've only ever seen like... You see a couple every now and then. No, but I've only ever seen like like the cheapy like Mardi Gras ones. Like these you know, are... It's amazing that these have stayed in the good condition. I mean, these I are beautiful. I spray them down every now and then, but like some of those are from like the 90s and they're still hanging in. New Orleans, yeah. South Florida Fair, Fun World. 2020. Yeah. From all over. This is beautiful. Did you make this or did you buy this? I bought it. I don't make nothing except money. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful also. Oh yeah, and it sounds great in the, uh, when the wind blows. I love all, I it's love the best, though, when the wind blows. all your wife's pretty. Yeah. I love your wife's plants. She's doing a great job keeping For them. For the most part, there's a few dead ones out here. No, she's doing a great job. Yeah, she tries. I love that planter too. It's really cool. I'm going to be surprised tonight with a uh, four-foot lighthouse I have a, uh, an option to buy. Four-foot lighthouse that you want to put out here? Yeah, why not? I think I can get it for the right price. What are all those boxes from? I can look at a soda and snack route. Oh, that's right, because he has... Um, he and has um, soda, soda machines as well as claw machines, you guys. So that's what all the boxes are from. Look at the beautiful um, bird of paradise. This is Florida at its finest, right there, you guys. Bird of paradise. Yeah, I have a white one at my house, a beautiful white one. It's gorgeous. And this here is called a staghorn fern. I have a really, really big one. Also, mine's a big ball. Huh? As big as this one? No, well, mine's <laughs> mine's probably this side, but it's a ball. Gotcha. And I, I have a chain hanging from it, and oh, okay. we have it hanging from the tree. Yours goes all the way around the whole, whole tree, tree, just about. Oh, yeah. I mean, if he if, if he wanted to sell this staghorn right here, you guys, just like, okay, you see like this piece right here? See that, like this one piece right here? He could probably get $1,000 for that. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get in right behind me. Yeah. And that's how they come off. See how beautiful? I had no idea they were worth that kind Oh of my god, yeah, they're so expensive. I'm looking to see if there's any pups. That's oh, what they're those. called. I'm getting a new one here. Sucks right under the tree. Yeah. Yeah, right there. See, this is this is called a pup. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Yeah, right here. Cool. Yeah, that's a pup. Exactly. That's awesome. I love my staghorn. Yeah. I gotta, I I gotta bring a piece and bring it to my cottage, my reseller cottage. I have so many, um, oh, this is, um, what is this called? I can't remember what this is called. Um, it's colorful at times though. I can't remember what those are called. I have a pan in the backyard. You have a fringy pangy? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it. Oh man, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, because why? The leaves, the leaves dropping. Oh, the leaves dropping, they turn yellow and drop pretty yeah. easily, yeah. But it's got the most beautiful yellow flowers. What kind of tree is this? This is a mahogany oak. This is a mahogany That's oak. That's the only reason why I bought the house. Because of this tree? Yeah. You loved it? Oh, I still do. It's beautiful. It's a very slow growing tree. So very low, low in maintenance when the leaves fall once a year it's a pain in the ass. oh it's beautiful it's a beautiful yeah. tree i have um two variegated melaleuca trees in my yard oh, okay. they're shade trees yeah exactly they're absolutely beautiful but they drop leaves like crazy yeah i love it i love your tour they do they drop leaves like crazy though but we have we have um so they're you know i can bolt those right in we live in a gated community, so we pay a really high HOA, and the landscapers take care of the, oh, you know, the dropping yeah. of the leaves. I am the uh, HOA guy here. But we got to pay for um, trimming. Can you use any of these coats? No. Okay. No, Al, listen to me. Yeah. Put these on the Facebook Marketplace. You'll sell them in a minute. You will sell those in a minute. Put those right on the Facebook Marketplace.
You gotta get rid of the swing set. What's going on here? That is my beer garden. Oh I'm my God. Beer. And <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had any sprouts yet, but uh, that's my beer garden. That's so cool. What yeah. a great idea. I love the different yeah. colors, right? Yeah, it exactly. looks phenomenal. Once the sun hits it, it's great. It's great. Aim at the top of the back of my roof. Okay. That is what you've got to get your people into. There are 39 solar panels on my roof. Oh my God. Are you I, kidding me? I just got a call from a solar panel lady this morning and I hung up on her. as many quotes as you can. My electric bill has not been over $10 since I've put them up there. Are you kidding? They charge me $9.97 a month just to do the paperwork. Once a year, I get a check back from them. So how much did they cost though? $20,000. $20,000. Unless you're planning on being here for the long haul, it's and not worth not, it. My kids, well, well, hold on a second. Because once you put those up there, my house is now worth $20,000 more. When I yeah, it is. It. So pay now and screw Florida Power and Light yeah. and have an investment in your house. Yeah. Or pay that astronomical electric bill that goes up every month. So here's a personal question. Did they let you finance that? Yes. They did? And the government paid a third of it. A third of it? One third. It was and you were able to finance it? Yes, through Y Green. Y Green is that company that's making everybody uh, give Green. everybody money, green yeah. money for like 1% just to put money back into the. Uh, the uh, this is the tree. So this yeah. is the frangy pangy he was talking about. You know what? A, One yellow flower right there. Now it's going to lose all its leaves. Yeah. Yeah, wait, this wait is going to go to bear. Christmas time, I will decorate this tree like the largest Christmas tree you've ever seen. It will have hundreds of balls on it, hundreds of strands of lights. Yeah. It will be the most beautiful. Because Christmas. all that will be left of this is literally just the branches. Every single one of these leaves and that you see on here. Decorates beautifully. Will be gone. <laughs> I know. I pick them up every night. I only picked up the leaves once today. Yep. Yeah. Every single leaf will be gone. But yeah. it's beautiful in the summertime when it's yeah. in bloom. Yep. Yeah. Right? But that now we're going contract. into our winter months, so yeah. it's going to be done. There's a, there's a, so this is um, the Frangy Pangy. So you guys, it has an amazing smell, amazing smell. And if you go to Hawaii, you can this get is, with them. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, if you, I wish I had smell a vision. So in, if you, as soon as you get off the plane in Hawaii, this is what the lays are made out of. This is what, uh, yes, lays. They're so, uh, they smell amazing. Yeah, so that's a frangy pangy, and that is the Hawaiian flower, and that's what they make the lays from. This is, uh, this one here is called a cactus rose. This is beautiful too. That plant is probably 30 to 35. Wait, is this a cactus rose? Yes. Desert rose, desert rose, that's what it is. And the other two behind you are also. And this, um, this grows really easy. All you have to oh, do sorry. with this is just take a cutting from it and stick it in the earth and it just grows. Same with the frangie pan. Oh, same with the yeah. frangie. Yeah, yeah, I know. I can brush you off a branch now and you have a tree in a year. Yep. Yep. These two red ones over here are the same. And this one just came out of this pot. This one's beautiful, this red one. Wow. flowers at different times. It's so pretty. Yeah. So, you know, I told you I bought a reseller cottage and I'm just, I just bought some, you know, Mexican petunias okay. just to put in the front of it because they, yeah. they just overtake everything, exactly. and, you That's know, just color. to go around them yeah. purple, you know, yeah. pretty, pretty. So I, I don't really have a lot of time. My house, um, I have a lot of flowers planted at my house, but at my cottage, I don't have a lot of flowers. So next time I come over, I'll take some What's cuttings. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this doesn't belong here. It's plain imposter. This is a um, purple flowers. This one here is um, I, don't know the name of it. I can't remember the name of it either. But you know, I used when they bloom. I used to be a, a florist in my um, previous life. Oh, okay. Look at how beautiful. Is this just a plate? Yes, Murano. It's a, just a plate that you mounted. Yep. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Just a plate that he mounted and it looks gorgeous. All right, I gotta get home. Get to work, so it's always himself, some money. All right, you guys, so we are, um, we're done with the tour. I hope you liked it, my new friend, Al. Al, say bye. Bye. <laughs> and um, 
gonna go home. You know us. We'll be on tonight, T and I, uh, on my channel tonight. And um, here's one of the pallet boxes. It's almost empty, but you can see uh, what it's like to buy things by the pallet. Here's another one. Okay, so we will uh, catch you soon. All right, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the like button. If you can share this out, I really appreciate it. Day in the life of Donna on the run since uh, 6 a.m. this morning. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.